The man convicted of one of the most vicious local crimes in recent years found out today that he will spend the rest of his life in prison. Curtis Lopez killed his estranged wife, Jane McQuain, and her 12-year-old son. Today, the judge had some strong words for the convicted killer. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell, live now from Rockville with what happened in that courtroom today. Brad. Well, Leon, they were the strongest possible words. Judge Barry, Mary Beth McCormick sentenced Curtis Lopez to two consecutive terms of life in prison without the possibility of parole. But she said these murders were so horrible, she wished she had the death penalty available. It was a gruesome discovery which made hardened homicide detectives cry unconsolably. In October 2011, after six days of hoping 12-year-old William McQuain was alive, they found his bludgeoned, battered, and decomposing body in the woods of Germantown, a bloody baseball bat nearby. Men and women of this police department suffered living with the images of what they found in that field. Police had been searching for William ever since they found his mother, Jane, murdered in her own bed, her skull crushed by a 30-pound weight, her lung pierced by a kitchen knife. Tonight. Her long estranged husband, Curtis Lopez, is on his way to prison for the rest of his life without the possibility of parole for killing the mother and child. In pronouncing the sentence, the judge said she only wished the death penalty was still available under Maryland law because Lopez surely deserved it. In court, McQuain's family applauded the ruling and the comment. We can forget about him now. I still sometimes think that this is all a horrible nightmare and I'll wake up and everything will be fine, but I realize that that's not going to happen. Prosecutors call Curtis Lopez among the most vicious and unrepentant killers ever in Montgomery County. They say he traveled to Maryland from his home in North Carolina planning to kill the McQuains just to steal Jane's new car and a TV. In court, Lopez stood and said only, quote, I'm sorry for your loss. You should have thought about that before you killed him. Now, in court today, Lopez showed little, if any, emotion. There were a number of victim impact statements given, family members describing the pain they feel from these murders. In most cases, Lopez looked them right in the eye and offered no emotion, nothing at all. And when the sentence was pronounced, still nothing from them. He has not, by the way, accepted responsibility for this crime. His plea was guilty because he understood that the state had a strong case, but he has not yet said that he did these murders. He is off to prison for the rest of his life. In Rockville, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.